Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Disney Pixar Cars Reviews. And today on this video, we will be doing Flashback Friday, episode number 8. Yes, Flashback Friday, episode number 8. Featuring, you guessed it, guys, Piccolo Perry. The Spearmint Pity from Cars 3. I mean... Sorry, Cars 1. Well, Flashback Friday is... I mean, in case you're asking, Flashback Friday is a series where I take a look at a car that's been released from 2006 to 2010. So, Piccolo Perry is one of the following... And on how he was released. He was released in a Spearmint Team 3 pack in 2008, going vertical like this, but with no toolbox. And in 2009, going horizontal, again with no toolbox. And the packs included. Ernest B. Rakes, and Ernie Gearson himself. So, I know Interstate 290 is a huge fan of this pity. So that's why he dedicated this video to him. Not only because of he's a huge fan of Piccolo Perry, because I, but also I'm a huge fan of his videos as well. Yeah, that was a huge shout out to you, Interstate 290. I hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, let's take a look at Piccolo Perry himself. You can see he's a little bit chipped, but that's alright. Nothing that a little paint couldn't fix, am I right? The O on the top with the leaves. His front expression. He looks kind of shocked. Like Shirley Spinoff, who I'll show you in just a moment here. Sort of like brown hazel eyes, or golden brown eyes as I call them, or, or as I like to call them. Some people just call them hazel brown. It's got the white box around him, though. Ah, got so many hair in my face. And yes, his... Teeth are showing on the die cast. As you can see, the white teeth in the mouth there along with the red tongue. I love the pities that were released from 2008 to 2009 because they released a lot of them. Anyways, on the side, here it is. The white boxing again with the window. And the O there. Along with the leaves. He's got a mouth plate though. Which people are not a huge fan of mouth plates. Oh yeah, the forks do not go up and down. In case you were wondering. Yep, on the side. It's got some boxing right there. Don't know why they do that. I don't know. The, the O is still right there with the leaves. The rims are blue with some bit of detail. With like the bolts and everything. On the back here. You get pretty much no detail at all. Besides the window right there. Oh and yeah. If you like to see my review on the whole Spearmint team. I recommend you should check it out, along with watching the Spearmint Next Gen Custom video. Because I think I did a pretty good job on the Custom Next Gen Spearmint, don't you think? Got some more boxing. Hmm. I think that piece is like plastic. Yeah, it must be plastic. It isn't metal, I don't believe. Got some boxing around the back here. Still some boxing on this side. 
Oh, I thought they flipped the leaves, but no, they didn't. They didn't flip the leaves here on the spearmint pity. Still a bit of chipping, but oh well. On the top is the circle with the leaves again. The black tire with the leaves. Is it just me, or is he just simply one of my favorite pities because of how plain the design looks? Yeah. On the base, you get two rivets. 1499EAA, 149th day of 2009. Made in China, not Thailand. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that one of the bases, I mean, that one of the rivets here is blue like the actual pity itself while the one up here is just chrome or silver however you want to call it yeah let's make I oh I forgot to mention of where he appeared in the movie so I think he appeared in the motor speedway of the south scene when all the racers were like going to pit row like I think he was probably Appearing somewhere where Ernie was changing his tires. Or at least that's what I think. I don't know. There's too, mon too many pities in the movie to tell who they are at this point. Anyways, I'll grab a few more pities. I decided to grab... The most notable ones. Hold on, the camera down. So, Piccolo is the same model as Petro Pulaski, who is the RPM pity. Shirley Spin Out, the No Stall pity. And all are from Cars 1, by the way. Not from any other movie. Nebuchadnezzar Schmidt, the Shiny Wax pity. And lastly, Stacy, the leakless pity. So yeah, let me know which out of these five pities is your favorite. That is a really tough choice. I think I'll have to go with Piccolo for now. Because I like the blue color on Spearmint. Or better yet, any blue in general. Which I love it when Mattel makes Piston Cup pities for movies. Alright. Let me just put those pities aside for a moment. There we go. And let's put Piccolo right close by here. Yeah. Let's do a bit quick comparison with the logos first. The O on the top cap right there is different. It doesn't even say Spearman on there. It doesn't even have the number 93, which is very, very odd. I brought in the crew chief as well. Even the crew chief has the Spearmint logo. But Piccolo is just lacking it. I don't know why. Maybe he's better off suited as a Cars 3 Spearmint pity. I changed my mind. The logos are completely different. Mmm. -hmm. But still, I wish Mattel would release, like, a, um, Cars 3 Spearmint Pity or something. Hmm. And here I bring in the next gen, and yeah, his paint's gotten a little lackluster ever since I last used him. But oh well. Still a custom nonetheless. I did this custom, like, a while back, like... Maybe six or like 
seven months ago I did that custom. I don't know. I'm not sure. And I showed it to you guys. I'm not sure when I made that custom, but I know for a fact it was back in December, around Christmas time, when I made that custom. So it's probably like nine, ten months old, maybe. Yeah. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for Flashback Friday, episode 8, featuring Piccolo Perry. And yeah, also, let me know which team member of Spearmint is your favorite. Mine, probably Piccolo Perry, like I said. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which will most likely be Metallic Hall and Gas, or it will be... Laura Spinwell and Ray Reverham probably for the next review. So I'll see you guys then, I would assume. Goodbye, thanks for watching, and as always, peace. Ernie blew a tire. Oh, okay, I'll be right there.